Hey guys and welcome back to Clinical Physio with me, Phil Richards. In today's video we're going to be looking at the MCL stress test or the valgus knee stress test. So what are our indications for doing it? Well it's normally used in a routine knee exam anyway so it should be part of that and also we're looking for any indicator that the inside of the knee was overstressed be it a football player that plants their foot and it gets stressed down to this position anything that will actually mimic the test which is what we're gonna go into now. So how do we do the test? And what are we looking for? We're looking for laxity and potentially the patient's pain coming on with it, with laxity being more important. How do we do it? There's a couple of ways of doing it. One way is to hook the leg over the side of your plinth so that you can get a little bit of knee bend because we're going to need about 15, 20 degrees of knee flexion so that when we test the MCL, this ligament back here, other structures around the knee aren't supporting it. So that's the first step, 15 to 20 degrees knee flexion. From there, we're gonna use our other hand to hold onto the lateral aspect of the knee. From here, my other hand that's cupping just above the Achilles is going to pull in towards my body so that I'm kind of bowing the knee out and I can stress this part of the MCL. And it's just done like so. You will be able to feel in a normal knee an appreciation for some movement there, but you're gonna be comparing left to right. And certainly if you're getting laxity that feels within sort of 10 degrees or so, that is lax for sure. So the only other thing in that circumstance to check would be for hypermobility left to right. That would be a common finding. If they're not hypermobile, chances are they have overstressed that ligament. An alternative way to test this, well, alternative handling, uh, which is what I do in practice, is as follows. I'm gonna pop my knee under the patient's knee, and we're gonna have our hands scooped under in the same position as before. So we're stabilizing the lateral aspect of the knee. Our hand is still gonna be distal above the malleoli, and we're gonna keep our left hand, this hand, the proximal hand stable, and the other hand is gonna to pull towards our body in order to generate this valgus pressure. <clears throat> so the most common thing that goes wrong with this when people are starting out is that they end up internally rotating the femur and it gives this sort of appearance that the knee has been put into this valgus stress, but actually we haven't stressed the MCL at all. So be mindful of hip rotation. The easiest way you can limit this is with your distal hand is to turn out into a bit of lateral rotation on the tibia. This will just help kind of lock the knee in position and then you can still apply your force there and just make sure you can feel some movement and gapping here. Do we use this a lot in clinical practice? Sure we do, all the time. It's routine for the knee examination and because a lot of patients will complain of medial knee pain, it's routinely used. Guys, thanks so much for watching. We'll see you again soon.